I really like this. Look at that. This filter, probably one of my favorites that I've built so far. When I think of, for example, an aquarium filter that is good for up to 100 gallons, a lot of times I think probably holds about two liters of biological media, probably flows around 300 gallons per hour, and it probably costs two, three hundred dollars, sometimes more, sometimes less, of course. But I think we could do it in a pinch for about 25 bucks. We're gonna be using a two liter bottle to do this. A little bit of hose, not this big thing, like maybe this much, maybe a foot of hose. Snip it off your water change hose, not a big deal. You'll need a pump, uh, an aquarium pump of some sort. This is a Hydor Pico 300 centrifugal pump. I think it costs like 22 bucks. Pumps 300 gallons per hour. Convenient sized, technically and personally, I would like to go 600 gallons an hour in this. And I'll show you why in a minute. You'll also need some form of like an elbow or a, a nipple elbow that can go up with the top. You can direct it. Now get this though. These came off some of my nano tanks from the past. I never used it before. These are just lock line diffusers. They're not cheap uh, and that would raise the cost of this build substantially in terms of probably 10, 20 bucks just for this piece. However, I had a spare one and I thought, damn, this would, that would work out really handy. Don't need it. In fact, I really could have just used the hose itself. We're gonna make it a little bit fancy. You'll need some sponge, some aquarium sponge. This just came out of an old filter. Uh, and some biological media that we'll get into here shortly. I'll have to go find some. This filter is actually super cool. I think you guys are really, really going to like it. We're just gonna start by cutting a hole out of the top here. The size of the hole should be big enough to fit your pump through it. Just a little window like that. Not very big, but that's gonna work out perfectly. The next thing is your power cord. How is this gonna come out? You have it come out the front, it's gonna look horrible. It doesn't fit out the top, so I'm gonna put it out the back. Once you put your plug through it, there's gonna be a gap here, right here. Not that big of a deal, all we gotta do, take a little bit of a sponge, which we're gonna have plenty of, and kind of pack it in there so fish don't swim in, but the odds of that actually happening are slim, and once we have this set up, you'll see that, well, I don't think fish can actually swim into it anyway. Here's another thing I'm gonna do, just to make it a little bit more, you know, elite. Yeah, see, now we got a snug fit. A little more elite, I guess. I'm gonna connect the pump to our hose. You can get a different pump. Like I, like I said, get a bigger one. This is like the bare minimum. To be fair, this is what I had on hand without having to buy another one. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Fits in there perfect. Isn't that cute? That's why I put a little extra, just so I can make it like exact. You could be less wasteful than me and cut it properly. This kind of changed the game on it. I really got excited once I was like, oh shoot, I could use this for the return. Ooh, that's nice and tight in there now. Look at that. Is this ugly? Yeah. <laughs> is this gonna work? Yeah. The thing is though, hide it. Not that big of a deal. Put it behind plants. Build a 3D structure around it with styrofoam and cement. Next thing we wanna actually do is put the biological media into it. Don't have any? Go get yourself some uh, lava rock and smash it up and toss it in here. I'll show you how this is gonna work and how to take care of it. This is a, literally a 10 minute project. Projects are fast so long as you got all the materials on hand and you're not running around looking for everything. I'm gonna take this. I, I could have made it pretty. I gotta speed it up though. I'm making a video here. Stuff it in to the sides. We don't want any fish getting in there and we don't want it to, uh, water's gonna travel the path of least resistance. So if, it, if this uh, isn't in here tight enough, the water's just gonna go around it. And look at that. I know it's ugly. Fish aren't getting in that. Oh yeah, what about the back here? Look, it's packed to the top. The back. All right, whoop de doo we'll take a little bit of sponge here and pack it around that so that fish can't get in through the back. And we are done. Isn't that something? Look, holds two liters of biological media and flows whatever you want, 300 gallons per hour. We got your uh, water's gonna get sucked in through here, of course, and since the pump is at the bottom, water has to flow all through this biological media before it's pumped out. We also have low flow zones uh, all throughout the top half portion where it's gonna have low flow, low oxygen, so we'll get some anaerobic action in there as well. And the beauty of taking care of this, how do you take care of this? I guess it, well, it's gonna sink no matter where you put it. Um, we pull the sponge out and rinse it, put it back in, that's it. You can't get any simpler than that. Oh, your biological media is getting clogged out? Take the whole thing out, dump it all out into a bucket of aquarium water, rinse it all off, put it all back in. We're looking at five minutes of maintenance max. Um, but to 
filter. That. Isn't that cool? It fits in perfect. And because the media is packed in so nicely behind it, well, there's move. There's room for it to move. But it's kind of like pushing against it, creating its own seal. Isn't that cool? Now, one of the interesting things that I was thinking about doing that I didn't was um, it would be kind of interesting to see how I would do it, but I was kind of thinking about building it upside down. And this will be another option, right? But now the pump would have to come to the bottom and connect here. The opening will go up here, and now we can skim the surface of the aquarium like an, like an overflow and direct the water flow however you want it at the bottom. Anyways, I gotta try this out. All right, Tyrese might get a little upset that this is in there, but he'll get over it. Yeah, I really like this. Look at that. This is, this is when you're in a bunch. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff all over my biological meat. It's gonna make a mess in this tank, but it's fine. Um, Hide this behind your background, put it wherever you want in the tank, get a bigger pump. I mean, this filter is probably one of my favorites uh, that I've built so far. I love it. So customizable, so many different ways to do it. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. Obviously, it's just going to flow water through. It's just not gonna be a... Yes, yeah, so like I said, this stuff's gonna... Well, it's probably a good illustration of how it works though. Look, I can get some surface agitation. I can point it down. Again, I mean, just having this piece on it makes a huge deal um, and helps it out a lot. But I mean, that's an upgrade down the road. I'd use these on up to 100 gallons easily with a bigger pump. For flow rates, we want uh, three to six times the overall aquarium's uh, dimensions. So, you know, if so we want three to flow, we want three to six times the overall size of the aquarium. So, I mean, if the tank is, let's say 50 gallons, we'd be, we'd be shooting for a pump that does 150 to 300 gallons per hour. For a hundred gallon, 300 to 600. Again, I would like a 600 gallon pump in here just for even more flow. I mean, this is going to work out perfectly. You can even see the particles already getting sucked into it. Absolutely phenomenal build. Uh, however, it's ugly. And that's the only thing you will have to come up with, a creative idea to hide it. How creative? Toss some silk plants in front of it. Hide it behind your rocks. To throw it somewhere. I mean, now we have, that. this pump is, what? I think that pump, the pump is only eight watts. This thing is using eight watts of power. We've all gotten to a pinch where we've bought in a bigger tank. We don't have a filter large enough to, uh, to run that tank yet. I mean, this could be used for a number of purposes. Quarantine system, new tank, waiting for an upgrade. Your filter broke on a big tank. You're in a pinch again. These things you should just have on hand. Just build it, have fun with it, toss it in your little uh, closet of aquarium stuff, and it's always going to be there for you. I love this thing again. Um, I, don't, I don't know... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be too much different if I built it without it, so we'll see without it. Without it, we're just gonna get uh, more flow out of that nozzle, but now we can, of course, oh, you can turn the whole thing, or just turn the nozzle itself. Yes, very cool. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the Do Yourself Project. If you did, make sure you subscribe, because I got a whole lot more coming.